Hi. So today I'm going to take some of the questions that you have asked me in the comment section. Uh, all right, let me get started uh, with the first question is about uh, some, yeah, I've done uh, some courses in data science. How can I get a job in Europe? Well, uh, if, uh, if you're best out of India and you want to get a job directly in Europe, you need to get some experience first. So without, uh, you know, any experience, nobody will directly hire you, you know, so for freshers to get jobs directly in Europe is uh, not al always uh, easy. It's not impossible though. You know, I know people who have got jobs uh, directly in Europe uh, from India, but that's very, very rare. So first get some experience in India first, you know, a couple of years of experience will help. Um, in fact, at least three years, I would say. Okay, then your chances will be more. Um, all right, then someone is asking, uh, can you please tell me how can a person from MSc statistic from tier two college can enter quant field? I'm waiting for your job source. Well, you know, this the tiering of universities is a bit of a thing about India. Uh, you know, don't worry about the tier one, tier two thing. Uh, you have a messy in statistics. Statistics is perhaps the closest subject to, to quant finance. Uh, so if there is one academic area that is the closest to quant finance, it is statistics. So uh, you are in a sweet spot. You you do have the MSc statistic degree. You try applying in uh, in in quant finance jobs. Uh, if you do not know how to apply, what you do is that just do Google search. Right, just uh, do Google search. Go on LinkedIn. Uh, try you know finding you know uh, jobs there um right it, it's you know when i started there was no linkedin so for us to get a job was very difficult actually especially for freshers but now things have changed completely because of linkedin so uh, the best uh, way to you know get um, into any field is just uh, searching jobs on linkedin but the another, there is another way also right you know keep sending uh, your uh, cv to you know the recruiters from big four consulting firm banks and all because then uh, you know it's a very niche field right um, so there are not many people who are applying for it it's not like you know software engineering job where you have an opening and then there are like you know uh, 5000 people applying for it right that's not how it is in quant finance so if you already have some qualification related to statistics, economics, or you have done some quant finance courses, what you do is that you simply apply in, in, in any of these, um, you know, firms that are hiring. I have also made a video about list of companies that are hiring quants uh, in India. Watch that video, uh, you know, do some research about these companies. It's not that e difficult to get the contact details, whether it's, it's the email ID or the phone, just send your CV, right? There's another way to also uh, reach out to people, you know, just uh, reach out to people on LinkedIn. Try adding as many people as possible uh, in that field. You know, people, those who have got risk modeling or risk management or quant finance profile, just keep adding them. And, you know, just, uh, you know, write, uh, um, you know, just post something on your profile that you're looking for a job and you have such and such qualification but also prepare yourself right it's not just about you know reaching out to people also do proper preparation right uh, proper preparation could mean doing a course but also you could also read from books and videos and and learn on your own uh, so prepare yourself right somebody is asking whether i provide paid career uh, consulting i don't know what is what that means but if you want to reach out to me we want to set up a call with me that's always possible uh, i'd even given the top mid uh, link somewhere if you want to reach out to me is is yeah you can always email me um yeah somebody is saying that uh, you know ai and robotics will take over finance jobs um, so there won't be many jobs in treasury compliance risk well <coughs> We don't know actually uh, what kind of disruption AI will have in the job market, right? Uh, it's too early to say that. Uh, there is some evidence that yes, most of the white collar jobs will get impacted. Um, we need to prepare ourselves for that. Uh, but to say that finance and risk jobs all will vanish, I don't believe in that. Uh, I think that uh, the field of finance will be less impacted 
from AI automation compared to other fields because it's a highly regulated area and uh, governments and regulatory bodies will not simply you know trust the uh, robots uh, and AI algorithms there are many instances when the AI algorithm have done a very bad job um, especially in, in KYC related activities right a lot of fintechs are now automating that through AI systems and there are tons of issues so regulators are not happy with that so they will protect your job that's the point uh, another question is can a, an engineer become a professional quant trader why not you know you don't need any qualification to be a professional quant trader actually uh, i mean good to have uh, I, I don't know what you mean by professional quant trader you, you mean uh, making a profession out of it or you want to work uh, in you know professional trading firms uh, yeah why not uh, in fact most traders in professional firms are engineers or scientists so why not um, somebody is asking about uh, quant roadmap I have spoken about I'm, I don't know if I made a video on roadmap the detailed roadmap but uh, there are many videos in which I have spoken about uh, what you should do if you want to become uh, a quant uh, but maybe I'll, I'll make a yeah thorough video on um, the roadmap to become a quant um, somebody is asking whether it's the below profile is good enough BCA from IGNO MCA from IGNO CQF yeah why not I mean uh, it's, it's really good profile if you have computer science background and if you have done CQF uh, it's, it's an amazing profile to work in in quant finance uh, someone is asking me what to make you know videos on more generally general topics such as uh, investment industry core finance quant risk of course i'll make such videos but i'll also try not to uh, overdo that simply because you know i think one thing i would like to avoid is that i don't want to talk about things i do not know much about so that's one thing i'll i'm trying my best to do but at the same time i will also i also believe that you know most of my audience uh, you know, most of the people who are watching my videos are freshers right so even if i know about something less um probably uh, you know the guys who are watching me they probably know much less than than that so yeah nothing wrong in just talking about that but uh, yeah i'll make sure that i have enough time to do research before i talk about you know industry that's probably not related to quantitative finance risk management but you know for example investment banking although i worked for investment banks uh, it's just that I would like to, you know, do a bit of research before talking about career options, which are, you know, somewhat uh, different from quantitative finance uh, area. Okay. Um, someone is asking, please make a video about control with resources. Uh, I have made, I think, a couple of videos about control and resources. Um, go watch them if you want to know more about those programs. Um, somebody is asking me about uh, admission process for MSU financial engineering um, yeah I think I have made a video on that right um, yeah maybe I'll make another video on, on a detailed video on how to apply um, yeah um, someone asking me what are the areas of quant risk management I have no idea about it. okay there are many areas but primarily about you know credit risk uh, model development uh, and market risk model development operational risk model development and in all these areas also lm risk model development which includes interest rate risk uh, uh, and, and and liquidity risk um, in all these area you'll also have people working in the model validation side model audit side so you know so if i have like five areas of quant risk management in each of these there will be sub areas like development monitoring validation audit so it's like five into four that becomes 20 areas then right so many people work in these areas by the way it's one area where most quants work actually you know you know it's uh, nine out of ten people in quant finance area they work in quant risk management is there an age barrier to quant finance i'm 30 now 30 is not a very big number i would say Yes, of course. In fact, a lot of people who work, start working in con finance, they actually start uh, after they're 30 because many of them are like PhDs 
who have done phd and post docs in different university they couldn't manage to get a ac- job in academia or they did not find academic career uh, good one for them uh, many of them are like you know post they are already in their 30s so yeah this should not be a problem at all more questions uh, as an experienced professional uh, aspirant expect more on real time programs and tools of banks and finance and insurance if i'm not uh, okay i don't understand what the question is uh, okay let's move on i am not an iitian but want to do internship there do they hire non iitians also why not depends actually you know the high frequency trading companies they may not uh, hire unless you have you know degree from top universities uh, but uh, the local trading firms won't have problems in india um but again it's not just trading right quant finance is not just trading right there are a lot of opportunity in the lending side also so why aren't you interested there i don't understand why every who <laughs> wants to be a quant in in the trading area not in the lending area um i want to pursue an executive phd in finance from edh ec okay but there is requirement for master degree will this msc fe degree will be recognized uh well online masters degrees are not very well recognized uh, for phd programs so bear that in mind and if i want to do it from edh sc is is in europe right so european uh universities have this strong requirement of having a masters degree unlike in the us where with just a four year bachelor degree you can go for phd that's not how it goes so you need a masters degree yes um all right um i'm from finance background i have maths in class 12 but uh, i'm average at maths i also wanted to push your career in field of finance do you think quant finance is a good option why not see you know you don't have to be really good in mathematics in order to work in quant finance actually you know there are some areas of quant finance where even if you are average in mathematics you still can work actually you know you can become an auditor for example model auditor you can work in the implementation side of things you can work in the risk management side of things also but having some understanding especially the intuition behind mathematical formula always useful uh all right all right these are some of the questions i wanted to yeah take there are more questions actually but unfortunately because of lack of time i won't be able to take more but uh hope this helps if you have further questions never uh, hesitate to ask me in the comment section as always thanks for watching um have a nice day